and leading us away. John McGuinness back on the Honda. Good to see him back with a brand that he's got so much history with. Dean Harrison starting second on road. And of course, Dean has finished second in the first two TT races this week. Can he go one better in the Superstock class? He's going to be super keen, isn't he? Podiums are an epic thing to achieve, but as a race up, you know, they're all like his first loser. It's not where I want to be. I want to be on the top step of the podium. He's on it down Ago's Leap. And then this fan, Michael Dunlop, already the winner, of course, in Super Sport. Two races in one day for the solos. Yeah, it is, and Michael will be using that to his advantage. He's at one of the hot favourites in this Super Stock race. As we see Davey Todd there launching that Malenko by Paget's Honda off the start line. We've got a rear shot here from Davey Todd. Yeah, Davey will want to push hard in this class. He had a brilliant practice week, and the races haven't really come his way as yet, so he'll be wanting to make amends for that today as he slips up the inside of Gary Johnson, again through Sarah's Cottage. Here comes Hickman into the split time, 3.6. So Hickman has absolutely destroyed them from Glen Helen to Ball of Bridge. Where's he found that kind of time? That is an incredible amount of time to make up in that sector on the first lap of a TT race as we see Connor Cummins launch it. So uh, Harrison coming down now to the right-hander at Craigley Bar. See how much road he uses on the exit. Leaving a little bit more than they were leaving earlier on with, with Super Sport. Is that just the extra grunt and wanting a bit of extra wiggle room? Yeah, these bikes are a little bit bigger to handle. You've got more power, so you want to, if possible, leave yourself a little bit more room. But Michael Donlop didn't have a lot of room there. As he didn't, did he? No, he certainly didn't, as he just snuck past Michael Rudder. So committed to here, though, Cam, you said it many times already. He can't afford to wait. He knows how close this is going to be. He wants to make sure he's in the mix for another win if he can. Coming up towards Keppelgate now, the pair of them. Yeah, Michael Rudd is not in a position where he's able to jump on the back of Michael Dunlop. He's just lapping that much quicker as we see them come out of Keppelgate. And once again, like you said, Andrew, they are leaving more room than in that previous Supersport race where they both Michael and Dean were running the white line. Let's have a look and see here, Dunlop into the right, I don't know if we'll get to see him on the exit. Maybe we'll get a little clue of how much road he's... Oh, still all of it. Okay, so we might have to take that back. He's still using all of it. We got a brief glimpse there as well of Peter Hickman being 10.9 seconds up on the, the timing screen at the top. We were a bit obsessed with what was going on with the bikes. Look how close everyone is to the side of the road. It is such a unique experience coming to the TT and sitting that oh. close to your heroes doing these kind of speeds. Here comes Peter Hickman then. There is that time uh, confirming 10.9 seconds up the road. He is approaching the end of this lap. And of course, he'll be pulling in for a quick splash and dash and then the race to the chequered flag. Dean Harrison comes up onto Glen Crutchery Road. He's going to be the first man into the pits having led since he passed uh, John McGuinness. He started 10 seconds ahead of him. On the first lap, of course, Harrison is now very familiar, isn't he, with being first on the road, Cam, and, and first into the pits. Yeah, you can see he's first on road. The amount of bugs he's got on that visor, he'll be clearing some of those for the riders behind him. We're in P2. Yep. I'm sure I'll put this one here, just put top. Take the cuts so Harrison's not happy with the clutch. What can they do about that, Cam, in such a short stop? Yeah, I think he may mention it may be slipping. The mechanic there has just given that clutch a little more free play on the handlebar adjuster, I think. Looks pretty relaxed. Steve Plater's down there. Any story, Steve? Uh, Dean Harrison's gone already. Uh, Hutch has gone out. Michael Dunlop's in. We're just waiting on Hickey coming in. The boys are quite nervous, obviously, on a blistering pace. No tyre change needed here. Just fuel and go. Now these things, about 11 litres uh, to finish the race, another two laps, and that's it. Cat down, away he goes. Oh, oh, no, no, fine, away he goes. We've got Davey Todd here, and he's being held up by Michael Rudder as they work their way up to Sarah. As you want to get through, up the inside. Michael would have just seen him out the corner of his eye and give him some room. Tidally done, no time lost there. Here comes Hickman. Hickman smooth through that section as well. Now we ride on board with the number 10. Winner of Superbike. Can he do the same in Superstock? That's Glenn Irwin. Irwin's out. So what's that? We've lost Glenn Irwin. He's retired in the pits. This is Connor Cummins. 
absolutely on it on the exit through Glen Helen. Now we've got Hutchie, followed by John and Michael Dunlop. It's hard to fathom how many TT victories that trio have between them. Yeah, epic, and the three of them riding round together. Oh, Hutchie gets air on that side of the road. Is that about where you position, where you are on the width of the road? A little bit. He pulled back over to his left. It is a bit of a steeper drop on the descent out of Kate's Cottage on that part of the road. McGuinness watching back to Dunlop. Dunlop using the same amount of road he always uses on that very quick section. Through the left-hander. They're up at Cronkney Mona now, heading towards the end of lap two. We've got just a lap to go. You can hear the applause, brilliant, fantastic appreciation for these guys. Yeah, these boys will be looking forward to getting to that finishing line. Two races today, they'll be looking forward to a well-earned rest. Yeah, a lot of work, isn't it? Adrenaline up and down, you see the heli off to the side, they're almost as low as the road. Yeah, the helicopter's struggling to keep up with the speeds of these 1,000 cc super stock bikes. Hickman closing in now very quickly indeed, and he, well, I thought he was going to be decisive about where he passed, thought better of it. Well, once again, he can't waste any time. Not that Davy Todd is going slow, but he's probably not going to the pace of his teammate, Connor Cummins. Uh, Cummins is absolutely on it. We know that from the split times. Remember, the gap is now down to 11 seconds. Hickman wants to take his second win this week as he pops the nose up just slightly. Now he goes up the inside of Davy Todd into Cregney Bar. Crowd appreciates that. Cranks the bike over to the side. Stu's got another bike to pass in front, Cameron. The, you know, this is... Oh, it looks like Davy Todd might try and come back past Hickman. Well, I don't think he would do that, but he looked like he had the pace. And getting the slipstream, he's definitely tucking in for a free ride down the hill. Cummins leans off the side of the bike. How close is he going to be? Could he nick this in the very last sector? Or will Hickman have held on? It's an incredible charge here by Connor on the last lap. Well, as this trio of bikes work their way through the nook, they want to get a good drive out onto that last final straight. Hickman then gets that good drive. Is it going to be enough? Lights it up and up through the gears. We know Cummins is on a charge behind him, but Peter Hickman, the winner of the Superbike race, crosses the line. Will he hold on for Superstock? Behind him, Davey Todd should be on the podium. Where is Connor Cummins going to finish on the number 11? Through the right-hander now. Cummins lifts himself out of the seat one more time, ducks down behind the screen, full throttle now. Can he take the win at the line or will Hickman have done enough? Over the line and the timing screen shows us it's Hickman who takes his second win from three races. Connor Cummins though with his fastest ever lap around the TT course to slot into P2 with his teammate Davey Todd in third.